Welcome back, True Seeker. July 4th, 2019. This morning, 10.33 a.m. local, it was reported that there was a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake outside of Los Angeles, about between Vegas and L.A. Reminds of the Nevada test site where they used to do nuclear testing. Anyhow, with regards to that 6.6 .6 magnitude, notice that San Andreas, the fault line that runs through the area, has a gematria value of 66. And this report came from the USGS. USGS equals 66. With regards to it happening at the 33rd minute of the hour, when you write out 33 as a word, it also sums to 66. But the big thing here is that this happened on July 4th, 7-4, like 74, how we write it in the U.S. Of course, holiday equals 74, Independence Day equals 74, English equals 74, Gamatria 74, but for now, the focus is right here. Nuclear equals 74. So does payload, so does weapons, so does energy. And again, for nearly 50 years, the United States detonated atomic and nuclear weapons above ground and below ground. And the point where those bombs exploded was called ground zero. That's why the World Trade Centers on the 74th Meridian, which were turned to dust, that site was called Ground Zero. Don't forget those World Trade Centers were in Manhattan and the project that started the development of these incredible explosives was called the Manhattan Project. And the underground weapons testing program ended in 93, the year of the 93 World Trade Center bombing, where for months after the explosion, they worked under the towers, no doubt setting the charges that turned those buildings to dust on September 11th, 2001. And no doubt today, the earthquake in the L.A. area, which is the biggest since 1994, which was also a 6.6, .6, no doubt today, the quake is caused by the same means. Again, the United States of America is a military empire that is run by Masons, who are warmongers, who are ritualistic, who do insane things for insane purposes by this code 247365. This is what's going on in the United States of America and elsewhere. You know, look at the southern neighbor Mexico. Just the other year on the anniversary of their worst earthquake in Mexico City, they had another earthquake. It was the 32-year anniversary. By the way, bomb equals 32. So does America. And here we are on America's birthday. But it's a 74 show. And again, the World Trade Centers were on the 74th Meridian. And uh, here's their coordinates right here, the World Trade Center coordinates where they once stood. So the quake was first reported as a 6.6 .6 today. They have since downgraded it to a 6.4. But just pay attention how they always change the numbers. They put out the numbers for a reason. They're symbolic. And they're saying this is the biggest in the region since the 6.6 .6 Northridge quake, which again was also along the San Andreas fault line. And um, they called that last quake the Northridge quake in 94, 25 years ago. By the way, Earth equals 25, quaking the Earth by the numbers 25 years apart. But uh, notice Northridge is 118, just like how Los Angeles is 118. And by the way, Los Angeles, California is also 118. Who could forget when Los Angeles burned on November 8th? See how Los Angeles, California is 118? Look at Paradise, California. Paradise burned on the same day, November 8th. Okay, if you're new here, there's four base ciphers, the alphabetic order, the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, the reverse alphabetic order, and the reverse alphabetic order with the rules of numerology. You want to know all four. But um, in light of this being the biggest since Northridge in L.A., you know, down on the 118th Meridian and the city quake today. By the way, Northridge is 64, like how they downgraded it to a 6.4, this biggest quake since the Northridge quake. With regards to the 118 thing, August 11th, another 11-8, like 118 date, is upcoming. And that's a date we've been looking out for since September of last year. We've been talking about this upcoming date. 
August 11, 2019. It could be the date of a, a natural disaster, possibly. It won't really be natural, but um, what's interesting is from today, July 4th, to August 11th is 38 days later. Remember, it has to do with death and destruction. Earthquake happens to also sum to 163, which is the 38th prime number. And remember, August 11th is the 223rd day of the year. Natural disaster equals 223. This year on August 11th, 2019 in San Francisco, they're going to commemorate the 1989 World Series earthquake team. An earthquake that was contrived by these same means, by the numbers at the most perfect time. Go back and look it up. It was exactly 107 days after Jose Canseco's birthday. Jose Canseco was the last thing shown on the TV screen. Jose Canseco's full name, first, last, middle name. Here, I'll just pull it up right here. I'll just do it. Or whoops. I'll just show you. This is all in my book, so, you know, I'm 100% positive about what I'm about to show you. Jose Canseco, 107. If you go from his birthday to the date of the earthquake, it was exactly 107 days later. And uh, military's 107. Again, he was the last thing shown on TV before this quake began. And the quake hit at 504 local. Baseball's 54, 504, like 54, 54 ounce in a complete game. So anyway, they're going to commemorate that team on August 11th this year at the Giants game versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia happens to sum to 2-2-3. The biblical Philadelphia was known for earthquakes. But isn't it strange that they would do that on August 11th? And um, last year they retired Barry Bonds' jersey. Barry Bonds is 118. On August 11th, Bonds is also 18 and 54. They did it 18 days after his 54th birthday. Anyway... The other important thing about August 11th is it's the 223rd day of the year, natural disasters 223, and so is High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, better known as HARP, which has a patent date of August 11th, 1987. You know, Jesse Ventura years ago, he helped a lot of people clue into the fact that HARP was this military technology that had the power to influence weather, enhance storms, cause earthquakes. And realize the U.S. military has been able to do this even before HARP existed, but HARP just adds to the capability. So HARP was patented on the most perfect day, the 223rd day of the year, military technology that can influence natural disasters, and which full name equals 223. Isn't it perfect? And August 11, 1987 was a date with 44 numerology. HARP, the acronym's 44, as is military, as is earthquake, as is kill... So anyway, no doubt that today's earthquake is the work of military science. And if you listen to yesterday's radio show, I talked about, you know, the World Trade Centers and the Manhattan Project in 74 and the 74th Meridian. Two days ago, I had a conversation with Mark Passio, talked to him about this same thing. We're going to be at Anarchadelphia this September. And... Uh, be presenting this to a live audience, this type of information, because as soon as you learn this code, you can just apply it again and again and again. And I mean, if you listen to my radio show for the first time yesterday, you can come back and apply it today. Whoa, he was just talking about this, you know, weapons and technology and boom, next day, July 4th, another example, of what I've been talking about. So We'll leave it there, True Seeker. Till next time.